but grateful to the Honourable Gentleman for giving way, and I'm keen to interrupt him right at the beginning of his very interesting uh, speech. Uh, uh, we're grateful to him for his support for our notion for bringing the military government into law. Casting his mind back over 13 years, can you remember any occasion on which the Labour government either put in the manifesto that they would do so, or under any circumstances of any shape, size, or form, committed themselves to putting any kind of military covenant into law? Mr. Deputy Speaker, I thank him and his keen sense of anticipation for my interesting speech ahead. But, but uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, we, I, I've already said, Mr. Deputy Speaker, that on reflection we should have gone further to take, to take, the, cov to take the covenant out of the cut and thrust of party politics. And Mr. Mr. Deputy Speaker, for all, of, for, all of those, for all of those on the opposite benches are now chiding us for not having done this, I hope that this afternoon and this evening they have the courage of their convictions and vote for their manifesto that they have a chance to do in this motion today.